My husband and I just got back from a brief trip down to the San Francisco Bay Area where we, as part of our adventure, swung by our old community where we lived and went by our old church. And driving down the street toward this church, which once was so gorgeous and special, it began to break my heart to see the corrosion and the destruction of this building and how over time it had not been cared for and had fallen into significant disrepair. Really broke my heart. And as I've pondered this over the last couple of days, I began to realize that it's really easy for us in the Christian faith to have the same thing happen to us. We might appear nice and shiny on fire for Jesus, glowing in witness of who he is. And then over time, we let the corrosion of the world wear on us. And we begin to lose the luster of the kingdom, if you will, and take on more of a stained earthly appearance. We have to be very careful about how we live so that we are presented blameless and holy before God. It actually tells us in 2 Peter 1, for this very reason, you must make every effort to support your faith with excellence and excellence with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with endurance and endurance with godliness and godliness with mutual affection and mutual affection with love. For if these things are yours and are increasing among you, they will keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are called to holiness, to not reflect the world, but to be on fire for God in such a way that we point to him in all we do. If we have a life in shambles, that we have let go because we thought once we're pretty, now we don't need to worry about it. We will see that kind of fruit and it's not great. My friends, keep yourself pure and blameless before God. Strive to do this. This is what God desires of us. Something to think about today. Blessings on you.